Hey everybody, welcome back to the Raw Food Muscle. I'm your host Santiago and we're back in the kitchen today. And today I'm going to be making you guys an awesome, amazing treat. This thing is going to be absolutely incredible. And actually, this is something we kind of like put together from some of the past things we've done before, like the buckwheat strips and the uh, chalky um, cupcakes. cupcakes. <laughs> uh, the chocolate, the chalky cupcakes is in episode 106 and the chocolate Buckwheat strips? strips is in episode 86. <laughs> That's right. I, just, I, I said it right. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, like, is that right? I don't even know how I'm going to remember these things in my head. <laughs> okay, so anyway, what, what we've done is... What are we trying is, to do? What are we trying to make? We're trying to make a taco taco. Ooh. Oh my god. If you don't know what a taco taco is... Uh, this is good. This goes back when we used to go to Taco Bell a lot back in the day, um, and they used to have these um, these these ice cream uh, treats. They called the Choco Taco, and it was just you know it was just off the hook. So we're like, there's got to be a way to make a raw version of that. And we were just kind of like uh, eating some of the stuff that we had made, like the buckwheat strips, and and taking bites of the um, uh, of the fudge brownie, and then we had some ice cream, and I was, we were like, we both were like. Our brains merged together. We're like, oh my god, wait a minute. I think we have an idea. And so we took the taco, the, um, the taco strip. Oh, you're going to see how we're putting this together. It's not to work. But that's how we came together with this whole thing. Okay, so let's get down to business. Over here, what we got first, first I'm going to do is make the ice cream. Okay, vanilla ice cream. So what we got here is two cups of cashews, two cups of water. Two vanilla beans that's been uh, uh, put in a, uh, in a coffee grinder, and then one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and we're going to be using half a cup of maple syrup and half a cup of agave. Um, it's just uh, something that we're using because uh, honey obviously it won't freeze right. So um, we're going to be putting all this stuff together, and then we're going to see how it all comes through. So I'm just going to add the nuts in first. And now you don't have to put the whole entire bean. You could just use the actual beans themselves. You know, that's cool. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to put the water in here. Yeah, buddy. And then I'm going to go ahead and get some of this vanilla extracto. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. And one teaspoon. Just like that. And now I'm going to go for the maple syrup and this is half a cup so now it may seem like it's a lot in terms of uh, you know how much I'm using in here but you have to remember that when you're uh, when, when you're making it when you're making the, uh, the ice cream with when you put the sweetener in there it, a lot of the uh, flavor gets died down a little bit so alright let me go ahead and uh, pour this bit in there and uh, let's get this bad boy cranking I'm trying to speed this up because this is going to be one of those long videos. And once again, we have no top. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so now we're finished blending and now we're ready to pour the ice cream mixer into the actual ice cream mixer. And uh, just so you know, you might, well, you're going to want to follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to use this and how long to put it in there for. Uh, this is the actual cold container. It's been sitting in the freezer for about 48 hours, so now it's ready to go. All right, so now I'm going to do... Turn it on first. Is, uh, sorry, turn it on first. And just pour it in. So, yeah, we're going to run this for about 20 minutes. And then, uh, then after that, we're going to just put it right back in the freezer, and then we'll get back to you in a few seconds, okay? So we'll okay, see you so we're all done, and I cannot wait to see how this thing is turning out. Now, I normally don't do this kind of thing. This is usually Kathy's department, <laughs> but she's got me doing it, so I'm just kind of winging it, you guys. All right, so oh, we got a little visitor over here. <laughs> Wonder of course. why. <laughs> yes. He knows his ice cream is a brewing. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to take this whole piece and I'm going to pour it into this other container. Okay. And I got this container wrapped with some uh, with some plastic, so that way it's easier to uh, 
to get out once it's ready. So basically what I'm going to be doing is put it in a freezer for and let it basically uh, freeze for the remainder of the time. So the first part is putting it in this little ice cream maker thing and uh, let it do its thing for 20 minutes. That's what it says for this particular brand. And uh, this thing really sticks. And then I'm going to put it in the freezer overnight and then we'll see how it comes out. All right. So that's pretty much it for this part of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it in the freezer and then I'm going to come back in a little bit and then put it all together. Okay, so I'll see y'all. Okay, so we're all set. The ice cream is ready. It's been sitting in the fridge or the freezer overnight and we're all set to go. The buckwheat strips, as you can see, we just kind of cut it out in a uh, circular shape for authenticity to make it look like a real taco, right? That's what it's all about. It's got to look real, right? So we got the ice cream ready to go. We got the fudge brownies ready to go. And the, um, the strips, you can find it on episode 86. And then the fudge brownies you can find on episode 106, okay? And I, let me apologize right now because some of the episodes we have to, I know some of you guys in like Germany and other countries, you can't watch some of the videos uh, because of the music content. I'm trying to work on it. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just trying to get this stuff together. I want you guys, everybody to watch the videos. So I'm going to have to work on something else, maybe a different kind of intro. I don't know. But let's move on, okay? So now I've got that on top. And I got the ice cream. I'm just going to go ahead and place it just like that. And then all you do is just put it together just like that. Bow. Yeah. <laughs> Bye out. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let me go ahead and take a little bite. Mmm. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys got to try this. I mean, nothing can touch this right here. The real taco, raw taco, taco, man. This is what I'm talking about. This is absolutely incredible. That's if you I don't eat all the brownies like we almost did. I know, right? <laughs> you gotta maintain yourself, folks. Don't be like us when you make brownies and eat most of it before you actually... But, you know, we didn't plan on doing this. So this is on the spur of the moment, but whatever, man. You guys gotta try this. Absolutely amazing. Okay, guys? That's it. Check out this awesome, amazing dessert. Okay? Believe me, you're gonna love it, alright? So I'll see y'all next time on the Raw Food Muscle.